Hi guys, uh, my name is Rafa and I'm very proud to be here uh, for you. Today we have a very nice episode uh, concerning Mini 2. This is a, a beginner's guide and I prepared uh, this one especially for the first time uh, users, for the beginners. Uh, we're gonna perform the first steps, we're gonna prepare the craft to the first flight and I'm gonna share with you my best experiences and I'm gonna uh, support you in a very first uh, step. So let's jump into the content right now and I keep the fingers crossed. So right now let's move on to the basic steps after unboxing. The aircraft itself it is not active and it is secured by the stickers. First of all we should remove all the stickers from entire drone, both from the arms and the gimbal cover as well as a battery cover. The second thing we should perform is to charge the batteries. The batteries from the drone, from the remote controller as well as a mobile device. In the meantime, we can get familiar with the construction and basic functions of the tiny and fantastic Mini 2. So no matter which version did you buy, is it a basic version or combo, you have the same elements. I mean, basically you have a drone and controller. Of course, you, you can have a bag or charging hub, but right now we are going to talk about the drone itself. At the top, we have no buttons, uh, no lights, no controls, no sensors, anything. So there is empty space. Then we have uh, foldable arms, left one and the right one, and rear uh, folding with the turn. So we need to turn to unfold the arms. It's pretty important and uh, worth to mention that you, you should check out before installation if you have the right set of propellers and what, where is the mark. If you have the stripe right here and right here. So the mark is on the front right uh, arm and on the rear left arm. The same is on the propeller. So you can see here is the stripe as well as here. So this uh, propeller rotates uh, counterclockwise. Right now we are on the front of the uh, aircraft. Here we have the gimbal cover and camera uh, protection. Right here we have a front LED and this lamp can change color, you can adjust it from the up. On the side we have the ventilation holes, so it is important to not uh, stick or not to block uh, the air because we have an uh, occusink right here, so the temperature is pretty crucial and uh, temperature exchange must be uh, performed during the flight. Right now on the bottom side we have a power button so, so to power on the aircraft we just press once once quickly or briefly and then, then the second one uh, longer. So let's perform this one quickly and then longer. Yeah, but now we have a gimbal cover so we need to just uh, release the gimbal cover and uh, right now it's fine. Uh, the gimbal itself uh, stabilizes in three axes. As you see, the camera is pretty stable and it works really fine. Uh, the gimbal works perfectly even in a very high uh, velocity, high speed. Let's turn it off. Right here we, you have also ventilation system, so there is uh, gravity, no mechanical ventilation, only uh, the holes. And here we have the visual positioning system, so it helps aircraft to retain the position and to land safely and take off and remain the previous home point and position. Uh, it is really crucial if there is a dark outside, you should be really aware that the VP uh, visual positioning system is not supporting your flight so you should find a spot uh, with better lighting or just use some additional lighting to just uh, prepare the spot for for the start and landing the button right here this is a status lamp 
as well as quick transfer button so you can send pictures and you can send the videos directly to the mobile application to the mobile device from the aircraft via uh, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth so let's go to the rear right here we have the USB-C port this is for charging if you have no hub charging hub if you have a basic version you can charge directly from here you can use a power bank or just the plug for the charging and this is a memory card slot unfortunately a mini 2 has no internal storage so you need to provide a, your own card uh, it's not included and the card should be pretty fast because the bitrate is pretty impressive around 100 bits per second so we need to use pretty uh, fast card memory card let's open the cover this is the battery comp compartment the battery has own uh, system to just fix the position it's a little bit different than the previous version first the size is different and then the capacity is a little bit uh, different and also the voltage so it's not recommended to use both actually it's possible to use the battery from version 1 right here but it is not possible to use this battery to the version 1 so we can just use uh, the batteries from Mavic Mini but as I told you it is unfortunately not uh, recommended to use both batteries in the, the second version of Mini so to realize which direction we, we can just have a look at the connector the connector is on the top so we position and uh, it should click the battery should click in the place then we can uh, close uh, the cover that's more or less about the aircraft let's jump into the remote controller uh, some people say transmitter or radio, but this is more or less the same. So talking about the front, uh, front face, unfortunately we have no display, not a uh, screen. Or we have only buttons or uh, sticks. Here is the power button, so you, you do the same to power on the, the drone, you just, uh, the, the remote controller, you just press it once and then press and hold. Uh, around one second and it's on now it's searching for the signal with the drone mini is on and the remote controller is on what is important the mode switch this is the switch of flight mode so we have the cine smooth normal and sport when you are starting with the drones you should start definitely practicing with uh, cine smooth it's very precise and slow uh, mode then later when you are confident more you can swap into the normal but the sport is pretty fast and uh, remember that it needs a lot of space to just break because it is around uh, 15 uh, even more than 15 meters per second. So this is the mode switch. Uh, right here we have the return home button. DJ call, calls it return to home, but it's actually a return home button. So when you press and hold, it starts the fail safe procedure, come back to the previous home, uh, home point at the starting spot. Uh, you can also brake, so you can pause uh, the maneuver just by pressing once during the return to home or quick shots or some automatic intelligent flight modes, you can just pause by pressing once. In some uh, modes, you can just press by touching the sticks like quick shots, two sticks, they are on the gimbal, so they are used to control the, uh, the flight. Uh, we use the left sticks in a mode number two, because the uh, mode number two is a standard. It's going up is up, going down is down, and then turn left, turn right, that's all. The right stick is responsible for flying in one particular surface flying left, flying right, flying forward, 
and backwards. That's pretty easy and simple and but you need to practice just a bit to get used to because it's a little bit unnatural for the first moment but later on you're gonna get used to so it's pretty pretty fine. It's important to perform the first flights on the open area and pretty also soft like grass or some fields. I wouldn't recommend uh, concrete or hard surfaces because you know sometimes uh, they accidents happen and uh, stay away from the high buildings trees or power lines and this is a function button so you can control for example gimbal position from uh, front up to down top down uh, by pressing this one we can adjust and we can control or we can just define uh, these functions from the application DJI fly swapping from photo up to video so this is the mode changing you can change from video mode up to uh, photo mode and from taking pictures to recording the videos Right here we have the shadow button as well as recording button for the pictures you have you use a shadow for the recording you use a record button yeah this controller is uh, just for mobile phone. Unfortunately, when you want to use the tablet, you need to to print some special adapter. But it's it's possible. I'm using mini iPad mini, and it's really fine. But I uh, I had to print some extension uh, adapter. But it's easy. This is USB C, and it's for the cable uh, to mobile device. You can use both Android or iOS. So you have micro SD, you have a USB-C or a lighting. And here is the gimbal wheel, so you can control gimbal from here, from the wheel. It looks pretty nice and uh, I think it's really great to have uh, such a control. It's pretty smooth and we can go from the straight up to top-down position. So once you get to know uh, the drone and the remote controller, then you need to install the application. It is uh, DJI Fly. You can find it in uh, App Store or Google Play Store or on the DJI.com website. When you start the Mavic Mini for the first time, for the very first time, you need to update uh, the firmware of the aircraft because they are really very smart developers so we need to uh, update the firmware pretty often. I would say even once, uh, two months, uh, there are some updates and when the process uh, stops, uh, you are ready to fly. Of course, if you have no DJI account, you have to set it up, it's pretty easy. You just need an email address and then the password, you define the password. This is the profile information, so each flight is recorded and you have the history, you can have uh, the data from your flights. It's pretty detailed, especially in a, in a case of warranty uh, calls or requests. All right, guys, that's pretty much everything for today. In the next episode, I'm gonna tell you more about the DJI Fly app, but for now, that's it. I keep fingers crossed. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope it's useful for you and you can benefit. Of course, we can, we're, we're gonna cover a little bit more information in the next episodes. So see you again soon and thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.